right, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And obviously I'm just doing this one after the other because it's just easier that way. Um, so the next one we're talking about is torque plates. So what the hell is a torque plate? So I was just uh, just on the video on hot honing and all the rest of it. And what you have to do is that, um, just say you have a big block like this and it's, you know, it's got, I don't know, three cylinders in this case because I've just run out of room. <laughs> You've got three cylinders uh, in this block and um, when this engine is actually running and just say if you're going to do your hot horn um, you, you know you're bothered about thermal expansion and where everything sits at temperature what happens um, is that in reality is that you have a cylinder head on top of this with loads of ports and valves and god knows what now obviously when you're honing you cannot do this with the head in the way so what they do is they um, basically bolt on a massive steel block draw a picture of it um, I'll see if I can find a picture of one um, but torque plates and I'm sure there's probably other names for them but basically a torque plate is a big bloody fucking block of steel uh, probably it could be aluminium actually some of them um, a big block like this with some bolt holes in and what you do is it's there to simulate the head and this is to stop the cylinders warping because the middle cylinder if it's saturated with heat and hot oil and stuff like that the middle cylinder um, is basically stuck but the outer cylinders have cylinders on one side but they're free on the other this can cause the head to warp um, the deck to warp like this you know if there's a line there and if you horn this and you let the metal relax back to cold again that means that your ports are going to, your cylinders are going to be like this. Obviously that's an extreme exaggeration, but they are not going to be straight. The whole point of a torque block is, is that it goes on the top and it pulls the block in line and keeps it there. Um, as if there was a cylinder head on there and then it's just got holes in the top so the tool can, the, you know, your boring head and then your horn can come down and horn. Generally they use them for both boring and horning. It's to basically pull the head flat, the deck flat, after you've decked uh, the top of the cylinders. This block goes on top and it's basically there as a stiffener, a stiffener component, just to make sure everything stays aligned. Then when you bore it, and you do just say like a hot bone or a hot horn, then, then the whole thing stays perpendicular, parallel, and all the rest of it. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit. 